Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you're new here and I do videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you like the content, I would love you to subscribe and do all the YouTube things. This is November 2nd that I'm filming this. This video is going up on November 29th. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate with family and loved ones and friends, whoever. Hope you had a good weekend. <sighs> um, yes, this is my palette eyeshadow collection and declutter. I'm noting what day I'm filming this because since September, I haven't purchased any eyeshadow palettes and no one has shown or teased anything that has seemed like there's going to be anything else that I like. And so I want to show my collection and do my declutter. And I'm just noting the date in case I do end up purchasing anything else and you guys are wondering why it wasn't in the video. That's why. It's because I'm filming it November 2nd and if I do end up purchasing anything, it must have been announced, released quite a bit after I filmed this. So I hope you guys are ready because I am going to declutter a few things. So let's just get right into it. I'm not going to swatch or anything. I'm just going to show you guys stuff and tell you what I'm keeping and what I'm decluttering. I have stuff organized by brand, which means the one thing that I'm going to declutter is pretty much just all this one brand. And I'll explain why. It'll be at the end. Everything else I'm pretty much keeping. So I guess just stick around to the end, pretty much. Um, so let's just get my single shadows out of the way. I'm not decluttering any of my singles. I have these few from Give Me Glow Cosmetics. They're so big, like I'm never going to use these things up. But I love the periwinkle, this like sea foamy, and a really good white. Um, and then these two are shades that I depotted from the Flower Moon Cosmetics palette from Ensley Rain because I put in these like purpley blues instead that I think go better with the palette for me. These shades do still go with the palette and I've used them with that palette before just to like try it. They are really beautiful. I've used them before. So I did keep them. I just like the other shades better for the palette. So that's why I depotted them and put them in here. I'm not getting rid of those. But anyways, I don't have anything like this like periwinkle and this sea foamy shade. If I ever do end up getting a palette that has dupes for those, I will get rid of these. But so far I've never found anything. So... I'm continuing to keep these. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna have to stack stuff on the floor because I literally like have no room in front of me. My desk is not that big, so. My other single shadows that I have, um, I have these ones from Terra Moon Cosmetics. I absolutely love all of them, still use them. I have three matte shadows from them. Um, these two like bluey grays and then this really pretty green. I need to use this green again. I haven't, oh, my nail in it. I thought I felt kind of close to the pan. So annoying. Um, I haven't used that green in a minute. I need to use her again because honestly. But yes, I have those few. I think I have like 18 shades in total. And I think that includes the three mattes. Um, I really love them. I pull them out. I especially use my single shadows a lot. Um, and like my Lethal Cosmetics palettes you'll see in a minute that are like your the Build Your Own palettes. Um, I use those a lot in my book video content that I do. If you're curious and you don't see me really use them on Friday videos, it's because I use them a lot in my book videos. Anyways, so there's those. And then on this half of this palette, I have four of the shades from the Poison Garden um, Single Shadows release with the Poison Garden palette from Bella Beauty Bar. I bought four of the shades. I have Eerie Holo, Evil Apothecary, Pumpkin Holo, and Book of Shadows. So those are the four that I got with that. And these are all really beautiful as well. I love Pumpkin Holo and Eerie Holo. Beautiful, they're, they're all beautiful, but yeah, those two are probably my favorite. So I'm not getting rid of those either. Anything else for like single shadows? Um, Ensley Rain, I had been sent, like, one time, two times, and they, like, had included free gifts with, I got a Diamond Moon Dust sample and a Chameleon Glitter Flake free gift. I don't use these a lot. I do like the Diamond Moon Dust. I like to use this as a highlight. This is a really pretty highlight. It's supposed to be, like, a pinky orange-like shift, but it comes out pretty much as just, like, a yellowy orange. I wish more of the pink pulled through. 
And then this Chameleon Glitter Flake, I haven't really used much. I should use them more. I just, these are honestly so messy. I don't like to open them, but I should try to use them more, especially because I have them. And then I have my Auric Glow, or my Auric Smoke Reflux. I have the shade Entice, which is the green one. Um, and I have, then I have the three original ones, Ego, which is the silver, Temper, which was the rose gold, and Defiance, which is like more of the like orange, um, I don't even know what the heck, like bronzy shade. Um, I love these. I don't use these a lot on camera with you guys. Like every once in a while, I'll use these on camera with you guys to show you, you know, if I do like a quick look or something like that. But um, a lot of times I use these just in regular everyday to day life if I want to do a little bit of makeup, um, but I just want something quick. That's what I use these or like if we're traveling and by traveling 99% of the time, I'm talking about when we go to visit our parents because we live five hours away from family. And so when I mean travel, I'm literally usually talking about going to see them. <laughs> like I'll bring these versus an eyeshadow palette. One, because I'm always so worried that my eyeshadow palettes are going to somehow end up being broken in transit. Um, and just, these are just so easy to like use and travel with and, you know, small, compact and just simple cute little looks. So I really like these. I use these a lot. You literally can't tell. You need so little product to do anything with these. Literally probably going to last me forever. I'm never going to use them up. That's just definitely how that's going to go. Um, one other palette I'll talk about that. Okay. I'll talk about these other three brands that I only have one product each from. So this palette is one I'm never going to declutter because I use it as my wedding palette. So it has sentimental value to me, but I do not use it anymore. And I wanted to look at it because I haven't actually opened it. <laughs> um, it's the Nudie Patootie palette by Laura Lee Cosmetics. Haven't even looked at anything from them basically since or heard anything about them. I do have some dips and quite a few of these pans. You probably can't tell. I honestly should try to use this again and just like see how she performs. But I love this palette. It has a lot of sentimental value to me. I use this as my wedding palette. Um, and it was really beautiful. And it still is a beautiful palette, honestly, I think. I think it's a really beautiful palette. I love the tones in here. Um, I don't know how it will. The shimmers are more of like, I would say like traditional matte shimmers, like they're not super sparkly, which is not my jam anymore, but that was kind of like how a lot of things were made then when I bought this. And so, um, you know, I love my sparkles, so probably wouldn't quite hit the spot the same anymore, but it's still really beautiful. So I keep this for sentimental reasons, so I will not be getting rid of this, but yeah, it was my wedding palette. I can't get rid of her. She is massive though and kind of annoying to have to store honestly like it's like so annoying uh, Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I only own one thing which is so surprising because I love Blend Bunny and I think their palettes are so beautiful and stunning It's just all of the color stories. There's always a little bit about them that I'm like Because I won't use like that bit. I just don't see why I would buy it because it just like it's not worth it for me to buy it and no, I'm not going to use a portion of the palette. You know what I mean? So I have the All Done Up palette by Blend Bunny. I absolutely love it. I think it's beautiful. I think this is the palette when they just, they started to switch their shimmers because the shimmers in here are beautiful. But I think since this palette, each one sends like the shimmers have gotten better and better from what I've heard. But I love this palette. It's really stunning. I don't use it enough. Like I do need to pull this thing out and use it more because it is stunning. Um, but I love this one. I'm not going to get rid of her yet. I'm going to keep it for one more year and try to actually actively pull her out and use her because she is stunning. Um, but if I don't really use her a lot this next year, I will declutter her next year because I'm not going to keep stuff around that I'm not using. 
end of story. But I do need to use her more because she is beautiful. I love like the rose. I love this green row. It's so beautiful. Um, and this mustardy row is really pretty too. So I need to use her more. I am going to keep her and try to use her more actively this year. Um, but if I don't use her more actively this year, then I will declutter her. But I'm going to keep her for now and use her because I, I do love this palette. It's beautiful. And I do love Blend Bunny. Um, the owner, Maggie, is so sweet. I've talked to her a few times. She's so kind. Um, so I am keeping her. Because I do need to use her more. It's, it's a beautiful palette. The other brand that I only have one product from is my Poison Garden palette from Bella Beauty Bar. I bought this this year. I love her. She's stunning. I use this palette all the time, on camera, off camera. I can't get enough of this baby. She's so beautiful. Ugh. That's all I'm going to say. I'm obviously keeping her. I am not going to keep talking on and on and on about her. If you want to know my thoughts on this palette, go watch my ranking from last Friday because I ranked all the palettes that I bought this year. And obviously this one is in there because this is a palette from this year. Love this one. And the artwork on this, I'm obsessed. It's like so beautiful in an ugly kind of way. Like the plants are kind of creepy in a creepy way. I should say not ugly, a creepy way. I love it. Absolutely stunning. Okay. Next brand. I only have a couple from, I have two from Nomad Cosmetics. Um, I have this one, the Hudson Valley. I will never declutter this one because I, when I first started my channel, the year I first started, I was a couple months into my channel, my, this channel. That's an eyeshadow on my finger. I was like, why does it look like my finger's bleeding? Like I'm not bleeding. Um, I was a couple months into my channel and I congratulated them on their new release. I do that a lot with a lot of brands that I like. Like I always send messages congratulating them because I think it's so cool when brands release stuff and like the releases are so beautiful and stuff. They don't sell this palette anymore. And they sent this to me and I thought it was so sweet. So I will never get rid of this because it was like, they sent this to me. I thought it was so kind. Um, I do love this palette. I've said from the beginning that I wish the three shimmers were different because I feel like they go with this side of the palette and not this side. So I wish like at least one of them was more geared toward this side. Um, but I do love this palette. I think it's really cute. And yeah, I'm not getting rid of her because they sent it to me and yeah. The other one I have, I love this one. I think the shimmers in this one are 10 times better than this one. They did something to the formula, switched it up. This is the Ghost Town USA palette. They released this last year in 2023 as their holiday release. And this palette is everything. I love this one. The shimmers in this one are softer, almost more like putty type texture, they feel like. And they're so beautiful. They're like shimmery. They're like soft and buttery. They're so stunning. I love the colors in here too. Like I love these cool tone browns, the cool tone blues, the cool tone greens. I love that it was like they went with the cool tones. I did say from the very beginning, my one complaint, like not even complaint, my one critique was that these two greens should have been more different. Like either make this more olive and make this more of a true like um, white gold type situation or do something different and they thanked me for the feedback and all of that kind of stuff because I do think these are way too similar like when you put them on the eye next to each other they look identical other than that I love this palette and I use this palette a lot especially for like very simple quick easy like on the go type looks, especially off camera. Um, so I use this a lot off camera even. So I will be keeping her, I love her. Yeah, I don't know if you can get this one anymore or if this was like the last year they're bringing this one back maybe. I'm not totally sure, but I love this one. If you can get it, I would get it. It's Okay, now let's do, let's do Lethal Cosmetics because I, a majority of what I have from Lethal is Build Your Own palettes. So I'm not getting rid of those because I literally did them myself. And I use my Lethal Build Your Own palettes, BYOPs, in like my book videos. That's pretty much all I use. My book videos, I use my Lethal palettes. That's pretty much all I use with 
like my single shadows from Terra Moon and stuff or that kind of thing. That's like all I use pretty much. So I have this palette here. This is one of my first ones I made. It's pretty old, like, I say pretty old, like 2018, 2019 types. Of, let me think. 2019 I think is when it was so these shimmers in here are one of their older formulas so they're not as like shiny and shimmery and shift like they're not as shift can I talk no apparently not they're not as shimmery as a lot of their shimmers now I think they've improved their shimmer formula substantially from like when I built some of these first palettes that you'll see However, these shimmers in here are still very beautiful, and if I want them to have extra sparkle, I can always just go into a palette that has shimmers that aren't very opaque, and they just have a lot of shimmer, and just like lightly tap them on top to not take away the color and just give them a little bit more shimmer. Like, that's just what I can do. But I love this palette, so this is like my pumpkin patch palette. I named all my Build Your Own palette. <laughs> palettes. Uh, this is my pumpkin patch one. I love the like oranges in here. I love this shade here. It's like my perfect orange blush for my skin tone and like uh, it's so stunning. Then I did a couple like reds and the pop of greens and stuff. Absolutely love it. So obviously like I said not getting rid of any of these. And then well this is a newer one so let me do one of the other older ones. Um, then I did this one. This is my sunflower palette. So I have like these yellows. This is like a beige color but it has like a yellow tint to it. And then like this like mauve color, this burnt orange, the brown. And then these three shimmers are like yellow leaning. So this is like a white with yellow shimmer in it. More of like a white gold shimmer and then more of a true gold. These two are more shimmery than this one. This is more again of a traditional like shimmer. But these are all really pretty. Um, this is a super pale like pineapple yellow but it's really beautiful and it does build really nicely. And then my other nine pan build your own that I did, this one is newer. So the shimmers in here are a little bit more sparkly and shifty. Um, this is my crowned royalty palette, I think is what I named this one. Don't laugh at the names. Um, but yeah, I did like these like pinky toned nudes, but then these like three purples, so like a bluey purple, and then these two, like this is more of a purple purple and this is more of a mix of like a bluey purple but less blue than this one, like more. Anyways, obviously. And then the shimmers down here are more like pinky. So this is more of a pink, this is more of a purpley pink. And then this one is more of like a pinky mauve situation whereas this is more of like the Barbie pink. Uh, really pretty, I really like this. And this shimmer up here is like a white base that has a little bit of like a purpley blue shimmer in it. So, and then I have these, like, 12 pans, I think these are. Yeah, so this one is my Midnight Jewels palette. So I have this, like, gray matte. And then these other four mattes in here are, like, these two versions of sky blue, one lighter, one deeper. And then this, like, navy blue. And then this blue is a little bit darker with more, like, purple. This one is more depth but like more true blue less purple obviously than that one and then these shimmers up here are like white base but then like obviously this one has blue tint this one has pink this one has green and then these shimmers down here is like this is more of a um like gunmetal this one's more silver this is a deeper one and then these two are like a purple and then this is like a blue with like purpley blue sparkles in it and this purple has so again, like some of these are more like the traditional shimmers, but then other ones are more shimmery and sparkly. Just kind of depends. But I do love this palette. I use this one a lot. Again, I use these when I do my book videos. This is like my nude gems palette that I made. So really good like nude palette. You have the really warm toned browns um, and this like mustard, these deeper warm toned browns that have like more red, more purple. And then these like three versions of a champagne shimmer. So like the lightest one, a mid-tone and a deep. I really love these three. They're very beautiful. And then like my pop of like gem color. I have the green, the red, and the purple. Um, the purple is the least shimmery out of these three for sure. 
um, but really beautiful. These, the champagne shades are more shimmery than like the Jemmy colors over here. And I have this like Oceany Paradise palette. I really like this one for like these like minty um, colors and these like Oceany Tealy Blues. And then we just have, this was kind of like a random palette that I made. Oh, my First of all, they didn't have the normal packaging that I used. It has like the individual spaces. So that's why this one's in a different packaging. And this was also when I had like a majority of the shades. And so these were just some that I still wanted and that's why they're in the palette together, but they do actually go well together. You have some like greeny shimmers, some blue shimmers. Again, you can tell these two are more satin and these two are more shimmery and shifty. Some more like yellowy browns up here, the peach. Really pretty. I don't reach for this peach enough because I feel like, yeah, I just need to put her in a different palette, I feel like. Or just remember that it's in here and use it with something else. I'm getting all kinds of makeup underneath this nail that I'm like swatching with. Two more build your own. So I have this like strawberry grunge palette that I made. This like beigey color up here has a pink tone to it. Um, and this also is like a beigey with a slight pink but a little bit deeper and then these like two pinky tones. And then you have like the grunge part down here. So you have this like these grungy olive tones with this like um, gray that also has like a grungy olive tone to it and then this pop of more of like a Christmas tree type green shade and then the three pinks of shimmers, more peachy, more of a bright Barbie pink and more of a mid-tone deeper Barbie pink. Very beautiful. These two are more shimmery than this one. You can kind of tell by the, how they look in the pan kind of. And then the last Build Your Own palette is my biggest one that I've ever done with them. It's like this big bad boy. Um, I called this one the Metallic Garden because this is when they released those uh, six metallic metal shades. And those are all in here. This is my least favorite one. Um, the one that was supposed to have like a bunch of holo and stuff. It does not perform as well as the other ones. Um, but I really like this palette. I love the mattes that I have in here. So I had like some grungy like khaki type greens. I love these like rosy tones the purple some peachy tones and I have these like shades of purpley blues that I didn't really have anywhere else that I wanted to have the Lethal Cosmetics the Build Your Owns I use these to really collect shades that I don't have anywhere else so I don't really have like this gray purpley blue in any other palette I don't really have these like you know like a grassy green like this so that's what I do I love this olive shimmer because I really didn't have a true olive shimmer anywhere else yeah, so that's this. I love these metals. They are very beautiful. This one's my least favorite. I, like, don't ever reach for this one. But keeping all those. And then from lastly from Lethal, I have all of the Avatar palettes. If you aren't new here, uh, I have a boatload of videos on these. But I have the um, Water Palette. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. The Earth Palette, also stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. If you want to see where these four palettes ranked in my, what I bought this year and where they ranked, watch last week's video. The Air Palette and the Fire Palette. I've used these a lot. You literally can't tell. I don't know. I just like, I've literally dipped into these so many times and I always find it so annoying. Like you can't really tell. You can see a little bit of indent, but not as much as you should be able to, honestly. Okay, next brand. Let's do Ensley Rain. So we'll do my smallish palette from Ensley first. I have the Flutter palette. <gasps> what happened? My Pixie Petal shade literally just decided to combust. What the actual heck? It literally just exploded everywhere. I just opened it. There was nothing wrong with it. No. Oh my gosh, it's all over my desk. No. 
no 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 the pixie petal shade when i bought i bought this palette and the pixie petal shade came in broken and they sent me a new one and this is the new shade i'm gonna have to put this shade in a different palette i'm just trying to press it in here oh my god look at it. it's all over my desk Okay, hold on. Let me, oh no, let me get cleaned up. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I cleaned myself up as good as I could. Um, that's honestly super depressing. The Pixie Petal Shade in the Flutter Palette. She's now gone. Um, I pressed it as good as I could and I put it in its own little, I had a magnetic palette that I had nothing in. I put it in its own thing because I bought this palette and when it came in, the Pixie Petal shade was completely destroyed. And I sent an email to NC Rain immediately and that was my new Pixie Petal shade. Like, because my, the first one that came in, like it was not repairable. And so they, that was my new one that they had sent me in here. I haven't done anything with this palette. It sits in my drawer when I'm not using it. I'm very careful with it because this palette has always frightened me because that shade came in destroyed. I don't know what's up with the Pixie Petal shade because it doesn't seem like any different of a formula from any of their other palettes shimmers. That shade is so fragile. I literally just filmed my ranking of my palettes I purchased this year which this was a part of because I bought it this year and it was just sitting on my desk and I went and picked this up to show you guys and it literally I opened it and that shade was completely exploded and smashed and all over the place so that really sucks. It's literally everywhere, all over my desk still. I cleaned up as good as I could, but wow, that really sucks. I would say that's a huge con for this palette um, that I didn't really think about when I filmed last week's video. If you're thinking about getting it, unless they've fixed that problem with it since original development, huge con that shade is now it's a beautiful shade too like it's so pretty and i love it with this palette but now it's having to sit in its own pan and i'm never going to remember it because <sighs> anyway so now that it's all over the rest of my shades and ruining everything here's pixie petal i really like it just bought it this year i'm not decluttering it but I don't know, none of the other shades seem to have a problem. It was always just that one. I don't know what's wrong with it. And that was my new one. So that sucks. Moving on. Uh, Ensley Rain, I also have the Flower Moon palette. Oh my gosh. There's literally shimmer like all over these palettes now. I've wasted a bunch of my Kleenex. Trying to wipe these up a little bit. Um, the Flower Moon, mine will look a little bit different because I replaced those two shades. But this is the Flower Moon palette. Absolutely beautiful. I love this one. My one critique of this one, again, is like, I bought this one this year. So I guess if you want to see more detailed critiques, go watch last week's video. But the three green shimmers, way too similar. Like, that should have been nixed and adjusted and like different shades should have been put in but I do really love this one so I'm not getting rid of it and I love that they started to include mirrors because I love a good mirror in my palettes and usually the mirrors that come in the palettes are what I use like especially if I'm going places like that's the mirror I use to do my makeup so I like when they have them um I have cold moon that's the palette I use to do this look I filmed this look on the 8th or it's the video for the 8th of November. Um, so if you like this look, I would watch that video. But that's this is the palette. I have it pre-mirror. I know that they sell it now with a mirror. 
Um, I love this palette. It's so beautiful. I love how cool it is in the cool tones. Obviously, cold moon. Um, the cold pinky tones, the cold purples. You get a little bit of gray. You get a little bit of blue. I love the shimmers in here. They're all very different from each other, which I appreciate. And I just think it's absolutely stunning and beautiful and... I really like this one and I don't play with it enough. I do need to play with this one more. It's beautiful. Harvest Moon. I absolutely love this one as well. This is my first Ensley Rain purchase. Also got a premiere. Um, they make it with a mirror now. I love this one. Uh, it's beautiful. It's stunning. I love how grungy and dark it is. Absolutely beautiful. Love the shimmers in here. Love the tones in here. Yeah. I think it's so pretty. And like this one, just like the Flower Moon, has like these three greens. But these three greens are at least a little bit more differentiated. Like this is more of an olive old money. This is more grainy blue. And this green has like a blue shift. But I do think like flannel and deciduous or whatever this word's supposed to be should have been like more different. Like, this should have just been, like, a maybe a blue shimmer. But, other than that, this palette doesn't really have any repeats like the other one. Um, like, Corn Maze and Harvest Moon, even though they are, like, more... They are kind of similar. They are still very different. But I love this palette. I think it's so pretty. Absolutely love. And then my last Ensley palette that I have is the Land of Enchantment. She's massive. Um... But I do love this one. And I don't use this one enough either. This one in Cold Moon do not get enough love from me. But I do love this one. I want to use this one soon. I might do this one in my next look that I do. Because it's so beautiful. I love the like pastels. But then I love that you still get some like mid-tone and deeper jewel like tones. Like I love that it's not just all pastel. That they went into like they gave you mid-tones and some deep tones as well. I really appreciate that. And the shimmers in here are also very beautiful. You have these like white based, but then they have, they're almost like UV type kind of shimmers. And then, yeah, just really beautiful. I love this palette a lot. I need to play with it more. But I, the, my one other complaint with this one is that this are circle pans, whereas all my other ones are squares. And so it's like you can't, switch things in and out and like combine some of these with harvest moon for example or cold moon or whatever like you that would be one complaint i have with this one but yes that's my land uh ensley rain and i love all of these and use all these so i will be keeping all of these although if flutter continues to break on me i don't know i might end up getting rid of her because what the heck I'm like rechecking to make sure there's nothing else wrong with this one before we continue on to our last brand. Don't worry, I didn't forget this is a declutter. It's coming. Are you ready? Last brand, Pat McGrath. Oh. Wow. Yeah, you heard me. Pat McGrath. We have the Pat McGrath. I have both Bridgerton collab palettes. I have Bridgerton 1. I love all of my Pat McGraths, but I don't reach for them. So I'm going to get rid of all of them. Yep. I'm getting rid of all the Pat McGraths I have. So you're about to see all the ones I have. And I'm going to get rid of all of them. I love all of them. I love all the color stories of the ones I have. This is back pre- everything being pink and I mean well these are pink but you know what I mean and like unique color stories and the formulas are beautiful and blah 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 but I'm going to get rid of them because I reach for all of these other things that you've seen all of the time and these I never find myself reaching for I have to force myself to reach for these and that's not fun for me I don't have fun doing my makeup when I forced myself to use a palette because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm not someone that will just keep something in my collection just to keep it. I only want to have stuff in my collection that I actually actively want to use. So for those reasons, I'm decluttering all of these. So you ready to see what I'm decluttering? Pemograph Bridgerton collab number one. 
I absolutely love this. I really loved this shade up here, which was the, was it the Regency Blue shade? I think it was. Um, I really loved it, but again, I don't really reach for it and declutter. Pat McGrath Bridgerton collab number two. Really loved this one, but not quite as much as the first one. I really love this old money, like gold shade. Um, Forever Charmed, I think it was. However, um, I don't know. It just, uh, it didn't go with the rest of the palette to me. Like, every time I did my makeup, it just never, like, and I used that shade. It never really seemed to go with the rest of the shades very well. And so, I mean, you're losing one of six shadows. I mean, it's kind of a waste. And again, I'm just not really reaching for it. The pinks are different. I do hear people's argument that they, they're too similar. They are similar. If you put them on the eye next to each other, like these two palettes, they probably would look the same. They are different, but but I don't reach for it. Even though I love the Bridgerton, the books, I'm not a big fan of the show, but the books, I want to declutter. I didn't even end up watching season three because I just like didn't really enjoy season two. So, okay, Pat McGrath Labs, Mothership One, Sublime, I love this one. She's beautiful, she's stunning, I love the cool tones, I love that Pat went cool, I love the blues, I mean, absolutely stunning, I love the shifty of this one, gorgeous, gorgeous for like, Again, cool tone looks very, you can make this very work appropriate, but then you can also make this like a night out on the town, whatever. Absolutely love, but I'm going to declutter. And I'm giving these to friends and family if you're curious, so throw that out there. Pat McGrath number two, Sublime. Also really love this one. This one she went a different route and this one we did warm tones. I love the pop of green. This one's giving wicked to me. Um, and then you have this like pinky shifty shade up here. Very beautiful. Um, I love the satin shade she throws in here that you can use as like shimmers if you want and tap one of these over top to get more sparkle. But then you can also use them like a matte and use them in the crease and stuff. Um, so I do really like that giving you tips with these, even though I'm decluttering them, but yeah, so there's Pat McGrath number two, and I'm not letting myself talk myself into keeping them. They're beautiful, and I love them so much, but I'm getting rid of them. Pat McGrath number five, uh, Bronze Seduction. This one's probably my least favorite just because this shade doesn't perform that well, the plum shade, which she has in multiple of these palettes. And a lot of people say the plum shade doesn't perform very well. And I don't love this red shimmer. It does not perform as good as a lot of the other like shimmers in her other palettes. It's not as sparkly and shiny. If it had more actual sparkle and shimmer, it'd be one thing, but it's not. Um, but I do love this like chameleon type shade up here. Um, the fire opal shade. It's so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but this one was also a more warm tone palette with the browns. Um, yeah, really pretty. But probably my least favorite out of all of the motherships that I own. Owned, I should say, because I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, Pat McGrath, number six, Midnight Sun. This is also one of my favorites. I also another warm toned one, but I loved this olive green satin in here. Absolutely stunning. One of my favorites. I really love that shade. I pretty much had to talk myself out of using that every time I use this because otherwise I would only use that shade pretty much. Again, more warm toned. You have the brown. Then you have this like more red tone brown in here with this palette. And then you have this like bluey purple. And then again, yeah. But getting rid of. And then I have Pat McGrath number seven, Divine Rose. And this is when Pat kind of took a turn 
and started to do everything pink after this one. But I really liked this one. This is Divine Rose. This is a more dusty pink rose color story. I think this one is also great if your workplace has more strict, like, makeup policies. You know, you can only do certain, like, work-appropriate type things because the dusty rose colors are very, like, work appropriate neutrals and then you can get you know a little bit more like mauvey rose toned here and then you get these like pops of really pretty color which you could use these satiny shades as your main shimmer and tap this on the lid to give them a little bit more sparkle but then if your workplace would allow it or like be okay with it you could have one of these more fun shimmers as your main shimmer um, but this palette is really beautiful for like everyday looks, but then you can't like amp them up with these over here. But this is really pretty, but this is also before she got into like straight up like just pink, pink everything. But yeah, I am getting rid of all of my Pat McGrath. So I will count real quick just my palettes. I'm not going to count like the single shadows. Or I guess my single shadows I technically have in palettes, so I'll count everything as if it's a palette. And my Auric single pot shadow things, I'll count those as individual things as well. So I'll count everything, and then I'll count up my Pat McGrath stuff, and I'll tell you how much I have and how much I'm getting rid of in just okay. a second. I have 28 things in total now, and I have 7 Pat McGrath things, so I'm getting rid of 7. So 35 things in total before, now I will have 28. So I think that's pretty good. So yes, I'm getting rid of seven things. The two Bridgerton, and then the five, five motherships. So yeah, that is my whole entire eyeshadow palette collection and what I'm decluttering this year. Again, this is being filmed on November 2nd. So if I do end up purchasing anything else, you guys will definitely see um, by the end of the year. But as of right now, by November 2nd, no one has teased or shown anything that has been, I don't know, it, like showing me that there will be anything that I'll be interested in. So yeah, I think as of right now, I feel rather safe that I won't be buying anything else. And I bought seven things this year um, in total for makeup, so that's pretty good. And yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. And I'm happy to have filmed these things and have them up and ready for you guys because I've been wanting to film this video for months because I knew I was going to get rid of this stuff. Um, I just, I don't want things in my collection that I'm not using that aren't bringing me joy that I'm not wanting to reach for and use. And when I do force myself to use it, I'm like the, like, I don't want to use it. Like, I don't feel inspired. I don't really care, like that type of thing. And so I'm going to get rid of it. And I am happy to kind of like have, I had these all in a drawer by themselves. I have it cleared out. I have it so I can put some of my other makeup in that drawer now. I kind of spread my stuff out because I had everything else like stacked on top of each other, like sharing one drawer. So I can like have the rest of my stuff kind of split up in between two now. I just feel like a lot better and I am excited and happy about it. And yeah, that was my declutter. I hope you guys liked seeing everything that I have and kind of seeing what I use and kind of what I like and what I gravitate towards. I have a pretty wide variety in terms of colors and stuff, but I'm pretty small in terms of how many brands and things that I have, I guess you could say. So yes, I would love to know what you guys think if you're surprised at what I decluttered and yeah. That's the video. I hope you guys like it. I guess we'll see if I end up buying anything else by the end of the year. I'm still very upset about the whole flutter situation. I don't even know if you can tell, but my hand is literally covered in that sparkle. It's all over my desk. I'll never be able to get it out probably. So I'm rather upset about it, but uh, that's besides the point. I hope you guys like the video. <laughs> and I will see you next week with something else. I can't believe next week is the start of December and Christmas season. Um, very exciting about that. Oh God, why did I like do a singing thing? No one needs to hear that. Ooh. 
anyways, yes, very exciting. I hope you guys had a good weekend and I will see you then.